I'm back. Now in August, I thought it was crazy when I had three projects in three weeks, but that was nothing compared to what I had to face last month. I had three projects in one week. Monday, Tuesday, I shot a project for the YouTube channel, The Warp Zone, which was sponsored by Taco Bell. That was a time traveling adventure. Thursday, Friday, I shot a tourism spot for Conejo Valley and Augustine Ideas. Sunday, I shot a brand new comedy sketch written by Matthew Hart. The homeless therapist. So let's go into some details. That's what you're here for, right? Details. Project number one, the Warp Zone's Sawsome Adventure. Now this is a project that was sponsored by Taco Bell and they were promoting the new Taco Bell hot sauce which now comes in a bottle. Now this is a really cool experience for me. I had to really kind of balance my own ideas with their style and their way of doing things. It was similar to being hired to direct a TV show. They already had their characters in place, they already had their script in place, they already know what they're doing because they've been doing it for years now. Now the challenging part was that they traveled through all sorts of different locations and eras. They go from cavemen to Michelangelo to George Washington, and we had to shoot all this in two days. But in the end, the shoot was amazing to work on. I'm really proud of how it turned out, and I hope this is the first of many times I get to work with these guys. Project number two, my very first TV commercial spot. Now, my sister works for a company called Augustine Ideas, and when they're looking for a video production team, she immediately threw my name into the hat. Now, the interesting thing is, when you're brought on to direct a commercial, the agency has already come up with the idea for what the commercial will be. Your goal is just to make it a reality. It was a very unconventional shoot, because we had a ton of different locations in just two days to film them all, and we were jumping around from place to place, and we're only getting footage that's gonna last a couple seconds. So we really had time to perfect each shot. Now the first person I brought on was Orlando, who I hadn't worked with since Silent Heart in administration, where he DP'd both of those. Now what's awesome about Orlando is not only is he a great DP, but he also is a very talented Steadicam operator. And so the majority of the shoot was taking place on the Steadicam. DJ Jang, another great collaborator of mine, who I had previously worked with on the Fitness Buddy commercials, came on board to produce, and he even brought on a quadcopter, which let us get some awesome aerial shots of the McCree Ranch. It'll be airing Sunday, May 18th, during the Am Gym tour, on NBC Sports. The final project we shot was another Matthew Hart sketch. Previously, we had worked together on Playbot Jr. This one was titled The Homeless Therapist. The sketch is kind of a joke on first world problems. People come to the homeless therapist for perspective, and the sketch is a kind of parody commercial for the homeless therapist. The funny thing about this production is we actually had three Matts and four Alexes on the set, so it got a little bit confusing. Matt Hart got an awesome alleyway for us to shoot in. We had a great crew. There's a very talented cast. I got to work with Jesse and some new faces, and I think that the end result's gonna be quite funny. No! Thank you, America! A few weeks before shooting all these projects, I also shot a scene for my buddy David and Chris is real, which is called Doug and Kurt, and I wrote and directed that piece, and I'm really excited to finish that up as well because it's one of the first dramatic scenes I've shot in a long time. So definitely lots of projects going on. The Caneo Valley and the Warp Zone project are both released and online now. You can see them here and here. I'm finishing up in post, the homeless therapist sketch, and the Doug and Kurt scene. So make sure to subscribe to keep updated with everything I'm doing. Prior to these projects, I was really kind of getting frustrated because I had shot something since November. But as with all things in LA, there always is a light at the end of the tunnel. And when it rains, it most definitely pours.